Yeah, so we finally found somewhere to eat inside a crust mall. It's called Chicken Inn. We strolled around, we saw KFC and lots of other places. So since we didn't have breakfast before leaving Nigeria, first things first is to put food in our stomachs. And um, the food we're getting costs 82, do 82 cities, 82 Ghana cities for two people. I don't know how much that is in Naira, but I'm just going to wait to see the value of the food or value of what we are getting, right? <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Oh, by the way, no, 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 we got jollof. Uh, I think it's Ghana jollof. And you know, Ghana jollof and Nigeria jollof has been causing lots of war on Twitter, most especially. So this is going to be my first time tasting jollof in Ghana. So I'm going to taste it on behalf of all Nigerians. So, so we're going to see what it tastes like together. <laughs> Yes, uh, I think this is like exciting and adventurous at the same time. Yeah, so let's go. We're just waiting for our meal. Yeah. Hi. So this is our meal. It costs 82 Ghana cedis. It's just jollof rice and chicken with um, I don't know what drink this is, but it's a kind of carbonated drink, I think. Yeah. So we're just going to have breakfast and move on. Yeah. This is the Ghana jollof and I'm trying it for the first time. So I'm eating Ghana jollof for the very first time. Let's go. <laughs> and and now the moment of truth. It's so nice. This rice is so nice. But then is it nicer than Nigerian jollof? Is it better than Nigerian jollof? I'm not going to give you any answer. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> but this is so good. Whenever you're in Ghana, please, please, please try as much as possible to have Ghana Jolo. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, the Twitter wars are going to end. So I'll just go ahead and eat my food. And I don't want to bite anybody. <laughs> We decided to head to Volta region to visit some notable places. The Volta region is one of Ghana's 16 administrative regions and there are notable tourist attractions there, like the Adomi Bridge, Akosumbo Dam and even Lake Volta, which is said to be one of the largest man-made lakes in the world. I read about the beautiful view of Adomi Bridge from Bridgeview Resort, so that will be our first stop. Adomi Bridge is Ghana's longest suspension bridge and it crosses the Volta River. It provides the main road passage between Ghana's eastern region and the Volta region. The bridge was opened in 1957 by Ghana's first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, and rehabilitated by His Excellency John Mahama in December 2015. The fees for those visiting the bridge are as follows. 50 pesos for basic school children, one city for junior high school and senior high school level, two cities for Ghanaian adults, and five cities for foreigners and tourists. Right now, we'll be heading to Lake Volta, which is a few minutes away from the Adomi Bridge for a boat ride.
this is uh, water lake. Okay. The largest man-made lake in the world. Okay. First is a river. Before coming to my lake, they build a dam. That is a good dam. So right now, I am on the largest man-made lake in the world, Lake Volta, and it's so exciting. We came for a boat ride, which cost us 400 cities for, um, I think, for the big boat and um, it's just four people on the boat so we paid 400 cities and I hope we have an amazing time. This boat ride is going to take a total of one hour, 30 minutes in and another 30 back to the starting point. We'll be going behind this mountain and we're being told that a company named Volta Lake Transport is located around here. They are said to have cargo boats, passenger boats and mostly move from here to the northern part of Ghana. This right here is the popular Akosumbo Dam and it is said to have been first conceived by geologists in 1950 as a way to provide electricity. But it was finally constructed in 1966, that is after Ghana gained her independence in 1957. To this day, the dam provides most of Ghana's electricity. The construction of the dam flooded part of the Volta River Basin and led to the subsequent creation of Lake Volta, which is one of the largest man-made lakes in the whole world. Yes, so whenever you're taking a boat ride on Lake Volta, best believe you're going to also see the Akosombo Dam. So we had an awesome time in the Volta region today, it was really, really awesome. We went on a boat cruise on Lake Volta. The company that handled our own boat cruise is called Dodi World, and their building is just um, beside Lake Volta. We paid 400 Ghana cities for four adults. We went with two of our awesome friends who have helped us so much since we arrived Ghana. It was so, so amazing. So, whenever you are in Ghana, that is one of the experiences you need to add to your list. And if you're a Ghanaian, and you've never gone on a boat ride on Lake Volta. What are you waiting for? Please, please, please go ahead and do that. It's really, really beautiful. Yes. We also went to Adomi Bridge. I think it's at Atimpoku Roundabout in still in the Akosombo area. Uh, it was awesome. We took awesome photos. But when you go to Adomi Bridge, please, please, please take permission before you start taking photos. There's a person around there who collects money from tourists, yeah, but the soldiers there do not allow you to take photos of them or pass by where they're sitting. So you have to ask questions when you get there before you do anything. It was, it was really an awesome experience. We wanted to go to Willy Waterfall, that's the highest waterfall in West Africa, but we could not go there again because um, we realized the distance was very, 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 very far from Accra and um, we're thinking about how we would come back to Accra. I mean, it felt like it was going to be really, really stressful. So we cut it off our list for when next we are in Ghana. Yes, but if you want to go to Willy Waterfall whenever you're in Ghana, I mean, you can go ahead and, you know, go there. I heard it's really awesome. The hike down to the waterfall, I heard it's 45 minutes and the hike back is also 45 minutes. We're ready for all that, but then, you know. Thank you so much for going with me on this journey. I'm going to add all the vlogs I have filmed so far in Ghana in the description box below so you can check them out they are very very interesting trust me we've gone to lots of amazing places so thank you once again for watching please 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 don't forget to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and also click on the bell icon so that you can get notified of subsequent videos I upload medase guys medase thank you so much I'll see you in my next video bye